Tourism, Art and Culture Minister Datuk Mahamadin Ketapi said he is not deterred by those who criticise the way he works because for him, his results speak volumes. Responding to criticisms that he has not performed as a tourism minister should, Mohammadin said he can't please everyone. You see, the thing is like this. You will never 100% be perfect for everybody. Today you will get right, tomorrow you will get wrong. But you think you are right, but people see that you are wrong. Would you bow your head on this kind of people, telling you are wrong and you are afraid that you are doing something wrong? No. I mean, they can criticize, but I got my own right as well. I got my own way to do it. See? I don't I, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> he said the numbers speak for itself. If we are not doing enough, would that be possible, do you think, for us to get that receipt of 21.4 billion? That's the first question. And that is the answer as well, you see. And as well, if we are not doing enough, should we or can we get, do you think, that almost 7 million in three months tourists coming in? So that is the successful story and that is also the answer. This kind of accusation, closing eyes, you know, dumping on the wall, you know, just to talk about empty story. Mohammadin, who is also the MP for Silam in Sabah, said, although it has been slightly more than a year in the post, he had yet to fit completely into the mold, but he gets things done. It will take some time because um, different things come at different time. You see? So that um, I cannot that um, tell you that everything already came in. Then um, that um, I knew everything, you know, um, that is not the case, you see, but uh, what I could say, um, at least whatever is coming, I think we should be able to settle. Right. Do you feel a bit more comfortable in your portfolio now? You seem a bit... Yes, it is, yeah, 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 it's a little bit uh, comfortable now. What I could say, I'm, I'm not new to this kind of um, job. In 1986, I used to be um, the assistant minister to the deputy um, chief minister of Sabah. It's not really new, but probably the role is probably a little bit bigger. You know, but still we can handle it. No, nothing, nothing so surprise, nothing so difficult. You know, because you have the experience, you have the expertise to handle it. He said Malaysia has much to offer, be it tourist spots, food or culture from many ethnic cities, and thus can attract tourists easily. Well, at the moment, budget is quite tight. For start with, you know, the budget is quite tight. Where we have to, you know, to uh, promote uh, Malaysia more, meaning to say, need more budget. But um, with a piece of hard work, proportionate equal amount of um, money, we are still able to bring more tourists to come in. For the year 2020, I think we are targeting about um, 30 million. So it's just a matter of only about, uh, what, um, two million to add up in order for us to get that um, target, yes. On taking care of tourism stakeholders, such as hoteliers, whose businesses are affected by digital tourism facilities, such as Airbnb, Mohammadin said he cannot take sites, although he understands the problems of the hoteliers. We have a kind of policy. A, B, and B, you know, they should register with the uh, ministry. We want them as well, you know, to, to do it um, legally. Second thing as well, to make sure that the government tax, you know, is to be collected by them. 
that is the B and B. But of course, we have um, re we are receiving some kind of um, complaint as well from the medium class hotels. You know that um, these people make their business a little bit down in a way that I'm um, not staying with the hotel but they're going to the B and B. It's a bit difficult for us to say as well, you know, if we're going to help the hoteliers by closing the B and B, if I put the answer to you, would that be fair, do you think? For the big hoteliers, I, we understand. They are paying um, electricity, high bill, everything, this and that, you know. But um, as what I said, we are looking way and means to settle this. But to tell you, to be honest, straight away, you know, to help them by closing the BNB, is not the answer. For Mohammadin, his heart lies with the people and will do his best to please those who really need his help.